John, does does everybody see the uh, countdown thing with the animation? No, of course, that's the whole reason that we we do that. That's, and the music uh, is uh, from where? That is all Zach Jacobson. You know the the man behind uh, anything that looks halfway decent on this page. It is all Zach. My dog's freaking out upstairs. Um, before we get into the flat Earth thing, which I find uh, in interesting, and I'll explain it. But John, you know the way I always talk about you know you have to strive to be happy. In life of course a happiness is not something that comes to you through some uh, mystical magical thing and uh, if you can be happy by something simple and pure and honest that is uh, a great thing would you agree absolutely happiness is the key to everything so i've been very public that i buy my I, my glasses at costco so i probably got around 65 pairs of them uh somewhere in this house all over the place there's another pair behind me anyways um uh, one of my one of my dogs uh somehow got into 60 uh, uh four of them and and gnarled the part that goes behind your ear and this and and so whenever i put it on it's i notice a scratch but this pair john uh -huh. hasn't been touched and when i oh. put it on it's fucking groovy. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that's it's almost sexual. It we are we are I could not be happier for you right now. I think uh, I think the world agrees that this is a happy spenny and a happy spenny is an entertaining spenny for the first 4 or 5 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, so, thank you. Flat Earth. Um I got to tell you I you know, it, I I research this as much as I research things, which isn't much because I don't have uh, any credibility, which is really a great thing. But um, I think it's there's a lot of interesting stuff. I am of the opinion, generally speaking, that human beings don't know as much as we think we do. Therefore, anybody could be right about anything. And uh, there was so many issues pertaining to flat Earth that were sort of around it that were much more interesting to me than whether the Earth is flat or not. Now, our guest today is Mark Sargent. Uh, uh, tell them uh, his his credentials, which are incredible. Uh, Go ahead, John. Um, well, essentially, um, from everything that I've seen of his, um, can I stop for a second? I'm sorry. Do, 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 I'm not. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Some doesn't look right this week. I don't like. You this know thing. what it is? It's, it's that. Brick. It's that. Is that brick wall like a green screen? Um, what do you think? Is it bad? Yeah, you can see your hair. Why? Why would you make that your? your I'm trying. Right? To, so it. I always look like it good, but now suddenly. All right, if can I, do you take mind? It if, down. Can I take it, Turn right? it off. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm just, in the middle of introducing. I know. Mark. I know. I know. Hold on. Let me just. Oh, God. Okay. There. Okay. Is that is that better? No, it's not better. It's it's another brick wall, John. Um. I'm sorry, please. So I'm sorry, Mark Sargent. Absolutely. Mark Sargent. Uh, just explain to them exactly uh, who he is. I've I've watched a lot of material. He's very interesting. Go ahead. He is. He is. He is. He's knowledgeable. He. It says if you need to know something that you, so don't, you don't know, you don't know his actual credentials. I'm <laughs> not going to put words in anyone's mouth here. I'm All right. Gonna, he's going to tell he's us. He's good at what he does. He knows things. Okay, let's put him up. This is Mark Sargent. He's a, a proponent of uh, Flat Earth. Uh, and, you know, hey, how are you, man? Thanks for I, coming. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm hoping this is going to be an unusual interview, though. I can imagine how many you've done over the years. So, uh, done a few. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, um, 
you know, the obvious thing would be to sit and first of all, I don't know anything about anything. So it, it could be, it could be a fucking trapezoid. I would have no clue. Right. Sure. So, uh, I don't want to spend the time that you've so generously given us just talking about the, the science or your science behind whether right. it's flat or not flat. I want to assume because, uh, that it is, you're correct. And it is flat. And I want that to be our starting point because I find the stories that spin off of that from what I've heard you talk about are very interesting. <laughs> uh, and I guess the one that comes to mind, Mark, is the idea that, and if I am got it wrong or I'm saying it wrong, you can correct me afterwards, sure. that we this is just uh, the earth that we think is the earth that's around planet is actually a flat uh, thing that is could be an experiment yeah. of a higher power or a higher being and i guess my first question is did i say that right yeah i that's about as good as explanation as any yeah okay absolutely. so then it be it comes down to what do you personally know about the uh the the nature of the experiment uh the 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 entity behind it because it, it it's probably now I know you you're going to you could talk for 6 days about this, right? Probably. Yeah. So let's try to s distill it down because uh Okay. I, yeah. I, I know how much I know how much time we have. So um oh crap, now I got to zoom in again. The um is that too much? Is that too much of a zoom in? No, it looks great. Okay. You look like a villain. Really, I my... have no idea why StreamYard did this background. I mean, I've got a million thumbs and I had to like sign up to get more thumbs and I just I just didn't have time. If I would have gotten another 20 minutes i could have done it anyway um just so you, you know i don't even know what that means what you just said so you're gonna blow my mind tonight so go ahead that's, that's all right so uh you, basically the question is who did it who built this place is that really right. the, the show well it's two questions what 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 is if you know if you can know what is the nature of the experiment and it's right. one of many by the way right that i heard of which is really interesting and yeah and then who did it uh, yeah, so, okay, so the short version is you're not living in a ball flying through space that's covered in a thin ver veneer of water and smoke. You are actually living in a building, uh, a giant structure with walls and a floor and a ceiling. And uh, even our best and brightest didn't figure it out till almost 1960. And when they did, they thought the public, rightly so, was not even remotely close to being ready to, to hear about it. So they decided to just keep it a secret. We had nothing to do. Human beings, our civilization had nothing to do with the building of this place. Then it comes down to, okay, who built it? Well, it can only be one of two, really. It can either be an older civilization that's much more powerful than ourselves or some sort of divine entity but really at that point you're just kind of splitting hairs because one man's advanced technological civilization is another man's deity so as far as the experiment goes why not why not what we do experiments all the time with fun things why why wouldn't an older civilization want to experiment with terraforming and life forms and whatever you want to do down here and see how beings react to different stimulus why why not so there you go. How's that, how's that for a short version? Um, yeah, I, I and I apologize because I know no, that's that, all right. I know you have a lot to say about all this stuff. Um, uh, well, it's shocking, number one, and then it, 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 if you're right, it's it, it's shocking. Should we be scared? No, no, and and I don't even think it should be that shocking. I mean, think about this. I mean, you you seem like a guy who's probably done his share of looking into science fiction stuff over the years. No. No, you don't follow no, any no. science fiction at all. Never. I'm not anything. a science fiction guy, not at all. Really, but, not a, not a single episode of Twilight Zone or. Oh, I like the Twilight Zone. Really? I've seen. I don't consider that science fiction, but I guess you're right. No. Okay. <laughs> well, but I mean, what I'm saying is, we have written a lot of things over the years when it comes to possible the possible nature of reality and and what we've done. And where are we? And we've touched on just about every aspect you can think of, including the things that I've been proposed, you know, or that I've proposed over the, the last six years. So, no, I don't think we should be scared at all. I, it's, in fact, I, I find it more comforting that we're living in some sort of structure, some sort of built, simulated environment uh, that's completely artificial, because otherwise, you're talking about being in the emptiness of space, you know, this end, this impossibly huge universe, and we could get snuffed out at any time from anything from so that's, gamma. That, that's Sorry, so ahead. fascinating what you just said, and counterintuitive, because human beings, I guess, uh, like to think we're in control. And when we think about 
what you described as terrifying, and I agree, which is that we're in space in the middle of nowhere. There's right. there's no purpose. We're at the complete mercy of God knows what. Yeah. Um, I can see how, you know, that is comforting, but people, because we're control freaks, I think that it's more yeah. scary. What you said, it's what you're saying is as, uh, uh, I don't want to say crazy, but as uh, controversial as it is, yeah. uh, it, it's, 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 uh, interesting that you would find comfort in that scenario. And well, that, I, it makes I, sense actually, as long as that it's not a, uh, 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 uh malignant yeah or, yeah or, not not yeah you we'd like to think we'd like to hope that it's not the matrix <laughs> where you have sinister forces and and everything outside of here is dark and and we're in we're batteries but at the same time you know i, I do find some comfort in it knowing that a meteor isn't going to slam into earth that we hear about every couple months or that we're not going to get blown away by a black hole or gamma rays or whatever it is you know whatever the the epic apocalypse of the day is so, but, and, and I like to do the whole glass half full when it comes to this world. I, I like to think we're, we're here for a reason. This feel, it doesn't feel necessarily like a prison planet. Also, it doesn't feel like pure entertainment. Uh, you know, the world can only be one of three things. It can either be entertainment, which I don't buy because a lot of people aren't having fun. It can either be confinement, a prison, uh, but it's awfully beautiful prison. I mean, there's a lot of wonderful things around this place. Um, but I think it's more of a school. I, I think we're here to learn. I think we're here to get perspective and to figure out the nature of, of things and maybe even ourselves. So, I mean, just in the comments, I can see, um, you know, some pushback. And I, I would imagine over the years you've, uh, and I have a lot of pushback on my stinky career. I can imagine what you go through, uh, especially saying something so controversial. Uh, I don't, I don't mind the pushback. I don't. And yes, you're absolutely right. In fact, I was probably going to warn one of your producers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's going, you're going to get, but hell, Alex Jones wouldn't touch us for four years. I mean, they, their guys called us up and said, can we do a Flat Earth show without actually saying the words Flat Earth? And I said, you got maybe 10 minutes. And then then that's it. We have to we actually, actually have used the term. But yeah, I mean, again, the, the pushback is because of the, the response, the, the conditioning that we get when we're children. Okay, the globe so, is, is going to our classroom when we're six years old. So the next uh, thing about this, which is if let, let's let's take all that as, OK, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Um so now on the other side of it is the conspiracy right. against everybody else. Um, and is, is, is that conspiracy uh, like a couple of guys with cigars in a room that know the truth? I want to get a sense of what you feel is uh, because we've hit and, and you've talked about this too, the tipping point where the mainstream media is now talking about UFOs, yeah. which I noticed that maybe six, eight months ago, which was insane. I knew when I heard it. And then the funny thing was there was no buzz about it. No. You know, but what's her name? Uh, Lindsay Lohan gets a hemorrhoid and everybody goes fucking ape shit. Uh, and, and, I, and I'm seeing exactly what they said would never happen. The government admitting yep. that there are aliens. Uh, we don't, or at least we don't know what they are. Right. So, um, yeah, you it's, ever think you you would see the day when that would happen? I remember, yeah, when those headlines. No, I never on, did. It was shocking, and I couldn't believe that it wasn't like, yeah. <laughs> like like Orson Welles, and you know the uh, yeah, yeah, that thing he wore the worlds. We have been so desensitized over the years. There has been so many alien movies. It doesn't matter if you're age eight to eighty, you have an alien movie reference. So ever no, I I actually thought that there wouldn't be that much surprise because people are just kind of waiting until whoever it is lands to come out and say, oh they do look like the people from avatar i but anyway as far as it's the so shallow i mean it's it, this yeah. is so the the treatment of it is is so shallow basically yeah yeah, yeah you're right it's not a deep dive they're just no. surface it's like oh yeah by the way uh, there's probably you know ships flying around it's like Wow, you're actually and getting it, to this after denying it forever. And and does anything deserve a deeper dive than this? So you know, yeah, I, yeah, 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 absolutely yeah. right. Um, as far as the conspiracy goes, real quick, uh, no, it is not as big as people think. This is not like the Manhattan Project where you have hundreds of thousands of people refining uranium. We're to, and it's like not everybody in NASA has to know. Not everybody, not every scientist, not every pilot has to know. In fact, it's very, very few. The only people that have to know are the telemetry guys. The telemetry guys are when the rocket gets out of visual range. You ask the telemetry guy, hey, where's the rocket? And they, they punch, oh, well, it's 400 miles that way and this altitude. It's like, well, you have to take their word for it. 
Um, only the telemetry guys have to know. Everybody else is pretty much. But you're forgive me. I, I I don't know, and I'm almost sure most people don't know what a telemetry guy it means. A telemetry guy is the guy that tracks the actual path of the rocket in three dimensional space, no matter if it if you can see the rocket or not. So if they say, "Oh yeah, this rocket is halfway to the moon," that's a telemetry. The telemetry guy is the guy that okay. wants up all that data. Right. And yes, they would be the, the, the key people that would have to lie. And you're like the right. GPS guy in your car, but for the universe or whatever, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. Half and, hour, you'll reach your destination. Okay, gotcha. But but you're absolutely right about the X-Men smoking smoking man type thing. You know, I was a big file. I'm sorry, X-Men, X-Files. Uh, I was a big fan of the show, and I always thought that, you know, I, I refer to it as, you know, you get the big dark table and people smoking and it's like so do we tell people the earth is flat and then they yeah. lift off the things that could possibly go wrong and it's right. like yeah we're not telling anybody about that <laughs> and then that's it you keep it a secret and i i'm one of those different conspiracy guys i agreed with them i was like yeah you don't tell people in 1960 they are not ready i mean the whole are we ready world. now are we even close so to me we're with the trump era i mean they're denying science i don't know how they can wrap their heads around this shit i think we're we're ready because the inf of the infrastructure involved meaning you have high speed internet you have social media you have 6 billion smartphones more people have smartphones than than running water now you can push any narrative you want worldwide and pretty much do whatever you want. And when we've seen this recently, you know, you can you can push any story you want. And so I think Flat Earth is is kind of the the picture frame for something bigger that had come out. I think Flat Earth was pretty much allowed to happen to open minds for something bigger. Maybe the introduction of an ancient civilization or, or aliens or whatever it is. Because Flat Earth does blow people's heads open. And then they're open to just about anything. I've seen people that once they get into flat earth, they revisit every conspiracy they ever saw, you know, over the last 20, 25 years. Interesting. So yeah. I, I want to end, uh, and I want you to tell people where they can hook up with you on the internet to see your sure. stuff and all that stuff. So we'll, yeah. we'll do that. Right. But I don't know how to say this. I, I really want you to know that I, it's not a backhanded compliment. It's not meant in any way, shape or form of being rude. And I right. think, I know that you're hip and smart enough to, to understand what I'm saying because it doesn't uh, in any way say that I, I know or, or don't believe or do believe that's got nothing to do with what I'm about to say, sure. which is that oftentimes with people you wonder, is, does he really believe this yeah. or is it, I guess what they would say in wrestling is a work or, 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 or something like that. And I think the, the compliment is for me, yeah. Uh, if it is a work, and you would never admit it, of course, and it maybe isn't even remotely true, right. uh, I would really think you were like the coolest guy ever. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, because it would make you so uh, articulate, smooth. You know, like Trump was a terrible con man. No, you know? and he, I've always he, yeah, loved not con, cons and con men. I've, I, I've, grew, I, you know, I think we all do. There's something re intrinsically interesting about it. Anyways. Yeah. It's a strange thing to say. It has nothing no, no, to do. No, no, and 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 thank you for that. Um, you know, you're nicer than some. The director of the documentary, which I'll I'll bring up in my plug, um, to this day, he does not believe that I believed it. And it's like, look, I'm stubborn. You know, I I hated flat Earth for the first nine months. I mean, hated, hated, hated. And then uh, one day, beginning of 2015, it's like, you know what? I'm going the other way on this and see what happens. And uh, I have never looked back. And that was okay. six, six years ago. And I, I, I take you at your word. It's just a funny thing. Uh, no, it is, it is not a con. Well, if it was a con, when am I going to reveal my master plan? You know? No, the, the, the con would be to just, you know, you, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not saying anything terrible. You're just, oh, you're just oh, be, uh, you, being creative. Uh, that's no, no, and that's no, one no, thing no. that I enjoy about what you're doing. And, and, and it, when you get over the, is it true? Is it not true? Is it real? Yeah. There's so much evidence this way. There's so much evidence that way. Yeah. The reality is we're having some interesting conversations. Well, thank Period. you. That's what thank it is. And, to me. And, and just so you know, anyone that ever wants to give me a polygraph, I'd love to take it because I would pass with flying colors. I absolutely believe. No, it. I I believe you. I really, after hearing what you just said, I, I completely agree. And I hope you don't take that the wrong way. I don't. Uh, what I, said. I don't. Are you, good, are, good. are you kidding? I've had it's a compliment. Come straight at me with knives. It's like, yeah, oh. I guess that's true. <laughs> um. Anyway, what, do you want me to? What do you want yes. me to do? Plug. Yeah. Do, to I, tell I, people I, uh, if if what? anyone wants to. Uh, 
I, I will tell him okay, what wait, 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 you to... If you want my what brick wall guy wants to say something. Yeah, brick wall guy here. Um, just wanted to say first of all, Mark, thank you so much for for being here and and oh, uh, happy to do it. Uh, thank you, thank you. There's a lot of people. I'm looking at the comments as they go by, and there's a lot of people that are sort of doubtful, obviously. Um, but there seems to be, from what I've seen, a lot of people that have different ideas of yeah. what it is. Is it a disc? Is it flat and then sort of like like a stalactite kind of on the bottom? Right, or right, right. Let's, is it let's, surrounded by ice? Do we fall off the end? Let's, How long does it take to get to Australia? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many questions, and I know we don't have time for it. Um, I'll give your your listeners a quick one, which is, look, it's – let's dumb it down. It's a snow globe. How's that? Uh, what you're looking at behind me, that'd be the top-down version of it. It's a snow globe. Uh, the, you're basically you, – you take – imagine you take the globe from the North Pole and you just squish it down and you cover it with some sort of dome. That's what we're talking about. There is no space. The, the space is just an illusion, nothing, no different than a planetarium. Anyway, sorry to plug. If you want to know any, there's so many different different people that have created stuff. Um, if you want to find my stuff, just Google Flat Earth Clues. You'll find it. Uh, I have two books on Amazon, Flat Earth Clues. Um, there's a documentary on Netflix, which will give you a great uh, idea of what's going on. It's called um, uh, Behind the Curve. And yeah, that's it. Oh, and there's a great there's a great app. There's an app with a Q&A that you can just plug it in and just pop off questions. It's called the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon, and Zodiac Clock app. I didn't build it. One of our guys did, but it's really, really slick. Okay. Thank you so much, Mark. I really appreciate it. Very interesting. Um, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Bye. Well, John, what do you think? Um, I'll tell you, I'm, uh, I'm convinced. I'm done. I'm ready. I think it's. I think it's I flat. We're ready to go. I think flat flat. You know what? I think we got a confirmation. No, I, uh, okay. <laughs> of course, I'm. Oh, I'm so I like. I'm a, almost an agnostic. I. I don't know. I don't know. I literally don't know. And I'm being honest. I don't know. I mean, even if I think some of the things he's saying are really more interesting than whether the Earth is flat or not. That's just a manifestation of you know what he's kind of saying for it to physically happen. I guess, but. Um, anyways, that was fun. So uh, on the Spanish channel.